What is up heroes, it's Midnight Zero, welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. In the last episode, we finished up the school, we defeated the big monster in the boiler room, and made our way over this church, which was rather creepy. There was a lady waiting for us, and she mentioned some sort of pyramid or pyramidal object that we're supposed to use to follow some sort of path. I don't really know what's going on, but regardless I kind of want to explore around and see if there's anything more to this church that we can explore or if we're just going to exit into I don't know some new area or it seems like the game is taking a second to load so it looks like we walked out the doors we first uh, came in now where do we go um, I thought we'd just pick up that item and then you know we'd follow where the lady went but the Floros, pyramid-shaped object found in the church. Purpose and use unknown. Okay. We still got plenty of handgun bullets. Kind of good to check in on all, you know, all of our items and everything. We've got the drawbridge key. That's what it was. All right. So let's um let's find this drawbridge. Am I right? Where is it going to be? I would guess it's right next to the part of the map that says bridge control room i think that's a pretty reasonable assumption okay so we'll head over to the right there's a gas station that we'll be coming up on so i would like to take a look and see if we can go in there because you never know we might find some items or something like that can we go in here no okay we hear the ringing we know an enemy is nearby oh there's the enemy right there can i go in here is that even the gas station, or are we still not far enough? Oh no, this is probably the gas station. Dang. All the static, all of the noises. Super Tuesday! Hello, bud. Can I go in here? It's alright, we'll, uh, we'll take that hit like a champ. Maybe not that one, though. <laughs> and accept our fate as not being able to go into the gas station. To our knowledge. So, now if I recall correctly, there was also a an alleyway coming up on our right. Before we go to the drawbridge, I would like to check that out. Our health is not, not super hot, but uh, definitely not bad. So I think for the time being, I'll just keep going. And see if we're healed up at any point. Oh, there's another doggo. We can probably go back here. Ooh. Well, we're cornered. I tried to stop and I tried to pick up whatever items were there, but um, it was proving to be difficult. Yo, I'm hitting X! Harry, pick up the items! Handgun bullets before this thing circles around and comes in for another attack. Finally! I'm just like sitting here, you know, going around and around. Okay, so now that we've picked up those... Now I feel comfortable heading over to the drawbridge and moving on to wherever we need to go next. Harry, my man. You gotta pick up what's in front of you. So, the drawbridge. Ooh. What do we have down here? A piece of paper that we... Harry, pick it up. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a recurring theme. Oh, first aid kit and some shotgun shells. Alright. I thought it was going to be like the actual, you know, control center. But, I guess not. Let's go check out on this side of the, the guardrails, just to be safe. Can we go up here? Probably. This is probably where the actual controls and stuff are. What does this say? Orage Bridge Control Room. Looks like that's where we're supposed to go, ladies and gents. Okay. So we got a newspaper which appears to be relevant, and then it looks like we got a save station as well. There's a shopping district map. Oh, so we got a whole other map we can go to. It's got a police or police office, a post office, Alcamilla, or Alchemia, I don't know, is all I can really think of. Um, hospital, and maybe Simmons Street, Silent Hill Town Center. Okay, so clearly we need to get across the drawbridge in order to go to the hospital. So we pick that up. And we'll save here because, presumably, I don't know, there's going to be some sort of event that happens on the drawbridge. Because that's how it always works, isn't it? 
Can we come over this way? We can, and we are rewarded for doing so with a health drink. And this isn't any secret. This is where we're supposed to go to use the uh, the drawbridge key. So, you know, it's expected of us. But that's okay. We'll, we'll take pride in each of our small victories. The machinery is running. Do you want to press the switch? Heck yeah. Lower the drawbridge. Welcome all of the zombies from the other half of town into this one. I get the strange feeling we're going to walk across and all of a sudden... What is that sound? What in the world is that sound? Is that supposed to be the drawbridge operating or something like that? I, I think so. Doesn't seem to be like picking up or anything like it's a timer. Well, looks like we've made it across the drawbridge. The other operation center is maybe on the other side, like over here. Oh, there's a health drink. We'll take that. Yeah, probably. Looks like it. Also, something else worth noting, or something else I've been meaning to ask you guys. Those of you that enjoy watching this, would you be interested in seeing other like PlayStation 1 era horror games like the original Resident Evil? Um, although th there's obviously a remake of that, or stuff like Dino Crisis, Parasite Eve. Um, I've played both Dino Crisis and Parasite Eve and actually really liked both of them. Parasite Eve more than Dino Crisis, but I feel like they'd be, you know, up your alley if this is something you've enjoyed watching. Are we going to find something down here? Some more handgun ammo? Okay. Either way, we take those. Can I... Is there anything else down here? I don't think so. I tried walking around just hitting X, yet at the same time, I don't know if that's even something I can rely on being able to do should there have been something. Let's explore. So I think what I'm going to want to do first is head over this way. Ooh, I wonder if the enemies are any different over here. So we're going to head up towards Central Silent Hill. As expected, we're going to be blocked off. Oh, there's the, the swoopy swiper. Okay, there's the police office. Can we go in here? The lock is jammed. Okay, I'm glad I at least know that now. Whoa! My, uh... <laughs> my man! What in the world? That thing is, like, pr prancing around on all fours. What is up with that? So we can't go into the police station just yet. Is there anything else I want to explore in this area? I mean, yeah. Might as well run around a bit and see what's up. That thing is running after me. Or hopping after me. No, not to the tree! No! Get off of Harry! You monster! Did I die? No, okay, good. How much damage did I take, though? A decent amount. A decent amount. I definitely don't want to get, you know, hounded down by that thing more frequently than I need to. And I shouldn't need to at all. <laughs> so we can head down in this road here. Um, I don't think... It doesn't look like a hidden road by any means. Um, actually, what is going on outside. I don't know if you guys could hear that in the background. Try to use my editing magic to make the audio as clean as possible for you guys, but can't control what happens outside my windows. Um, anything up here? Like I said, I know where we're supposed to go, right? I do just want to explore for the sake of having an idea of what the environment's like. Are there any, you know, extra keys or health drinks or something like that I could be picking up? That would, of course, make our lives a little bit easier for this part of the game. Um, doesn't look like much over here. I'm surprised there aren't more enemies right along here. But, nevertheless, ooh, is this an antique store? What's interesting is that this didn't look like something of, of relevance in on the map, but I'm curious. What are we going to find in here? Ooh, this place looks pretty run down. Pretty, well, antique. Oh, and it's locked. Okay, can we do anything with the wall there? No? Are we at least going to mark this on our map that this is somewhere we could go but was locked? Well, maybe this knowledge will be useful later on. 
knowing that the antique store is all the way at the top of this part of the map. It's... Okay. It's somewhat legible on the map itself. It says, like, antique green sign, I think. Is there anything else of... I don't know. Of use on the side here? Doesn't look like it. Has been kind of nice that there haven't been too many of those weird enemies around here chasing after us. Um... Alright, well, we'll head over this way. If we can, that is. And it looks like... The map's already got our back here, and has marked that off for us. So that is good to know. Swoopy Swiper. We can head down this way, down Simmons Street, and see what we find here. I think we more or less avoided it. I am, of course, really only checking half of the road. Right? What's down here? Nothing? Um, I'm like kind of trapped in there. Can I go in that building? Maybe. Maybe. But it'll take a while to find out. Okay. Map already doing us a favor. Oh! Run, Harry, run! Okay, doesn't look like there's anything too relevant that way. Just getting a feel for the map, guys. Just getting a feel. On our left, it looks like there's something we can probably take a little bit of a look at. Let's head down this way, see if we find anything interesting. Um, health drink. Certainly qualifies as interesting. Also qualifies as useful. Which, you know, they don't always go hand in hand, so... <laughs> so pretty happy that it worked out pretty well in that case. Darn it. I'm gonna have to use one of those health drinks now. Still not really looking to fight a lot of these guys in the overworld. We are unfortunately having to use health drinks as a result of them, though, which is not ideal. Would be kind of interesting if you could upgrade your weapons. That might be a thing in later games. Who knows? Um, Alright, so it looks like we're approaching the, the hospital. It looks like the pharmacy is on our left. I think at this point, I've pretty safely explored a good amount of things that I don't feel like I'm really missing out on too much should I actually go into the hospital. So, So I think that's what we'll do. That's probably... Oh, there's the ambulance and everything. What was that sound effect? Okay. Immediately, enemies. That's okay, kind of. We'll take a look around. Doesn't seem to be anything of interest. Bobbing and weaving, man. Harry's got some moves. Despite the tank controls, he's, you know, out there agile. Like a... Like a fox. <laughs> And it looks like we've entered our second dungeon of sorts. It looks like we're going to have a save point here. Yes, we are. Guys, we have entered the second dungeon. First it was the school, now the hospital. I'm not surprised. The hospital is a classic horror setting. Is there anything? What is that sound? I got a gun. I got a gun. Whoever's out there. Um, can we look at... What does that say? I can't really tell. I'm always curious to, you know, when the time is taken to really put something interesting in the, the decorations, the scenery, the backgrounds, um, you know, it really goes a long way. So I do try to appreciate it when I get the chance. Because I doubt they're random in this particular case. So it's pretty clear we're being led over to this door in front of us. So I'm going to try going here first. Maybe I was wrong. So what's going on here? Okay, some blood, some multiple things, and who are you? And why do you have a gun, and why is there blood all over the floor? Wasn't expecting anyone else to be here. Hold it. What? Did he just Stop. shoot us right Don't off shoot. the bat? Wait, I'm not here to fight. Yikes. My name is Harry Mason. I'm in town on vacation. Thank God. Another human being. <laughs> Ooh, that low voice. Do you work here? I'm Dr. Michael Kaufman. I work at this hospital. Okay. So maybe you can tell me what's going on. Yeah, you got a little bit of an insight? I can't say. 
I was taking a nap in the staff room. When I woke up, it was like this. Where'd you get that gun? Everyone seems to have disappeared. And it's snowing out this time of year. Interesting. Something's gone seriously wrong. Yeah, no kidding. Did you see those monsters? I think what's interesting is that we're not alone in Have this. Have you ever seen such aberrations? Ever even heard of such things? Nope, nope, nope. You and I both know creatures like that don't exist. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl anywhere? I'm looking for my daughter. She's only seven. Short, black hair. She's missing. I'm sorry. But with all those monsters around, I highly doubt that she's... Dr. Kaufman, come on, man. Come on, man. That's Sorry, not the thing to say. I didn't mean to alarm you. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter what you meant, because that's what happened. With you. Oof. She died four years ago. Now Oof. It's just me and my daughter. O for two, Dr. Kaufman. <laughs> I see. I'm sorry. You're gonna leave? Well, I'd better be going. Wait, what? I can't just sit around here doing nothing. But that's exactly what you were doing so before long. we got here. Look out there. Dr. Kaufman, man, you are one suspicious individual. Can we talk about how he's just sitting here with a gun, there's blood all over the floor and everything, and then, oh, now that you're here, I gotta get going. I can't just sit here all day. After asking, or after basically implying that our daughter that we're looking for is dead, and then asking about our wife who died four years ago. Dr. Kaufman, man, talk about striking out. Um, okay, is there anything else of interest in here? I don't know. I don't have a map for this place. Oh, I want to use it so badly, though. Uh, I think we came in this door. So the front desk slash reception should be here. I think. Nope. <laughs> We walked in there and then immediately everything was all spooky. What's going on with this door? All right, well, you know what, we'll, we'll see. This is like a private office of some sort. Is this the map? There's a newspaper. This article's been clipped out. What, what's, what's the article? I think the idea might be to imply that we're supposed to be looking for some sort of article that's been clipped out. Nothing helpful. I mean, none of these look like something is standing out. That'll be useful, but I figure I might as well try. Okay. I'll bite. Wow, a lot of doors. Oh, so this is the door we came in. Right? Or no? The lock is jammed, the door can't be opened. Wait a minute, I thought that was the door I was expected to go through. Oh, you know what? The door that I originally was like, oh, this is definitely the door to move on to the next part of the game, was actually locked, and then we walked through the one we were supposed to, I think. I think that's the case. Alright, so if we head out here... Um, I don't really know what's going on here, but we'll see, I guess. Nothing unusual. Nothing at all. There's a whiteboard, nothing special. Okay. How about in here? Nothing helpful. How about here? Nothing helpful. Okay. Kind of get my hopes down game, but you know, gotta, gotta throw me a little bait every now and then. Nothing special. Alright, well, we'll head this way. And now we're here. Okay. So is this the newspaper article? Nope, just first aid. I mean, we'll take it, right? We'll take it. What does this say? Information. Okay. Understandable. Um, there's a hospital map. Yes! I was like, this looks like something on the wall I can maybe interact with. We will take that hospital map. So let's take a look and plan out our route a little bit, right? So we, just to get oriented, we've gone in the entrance and everything. We entered that waiting room first. We walked down the hall. There was a door we tried to get through. Oh, so that door I thought was the first door we tried to get through, or, you know, avoided going through for story and all that, is actually the, that second one you can see kind of blacked out underneath the medicine room. So, we immediately walked in the examination room, then there was the office and the reception, which is where we were now. The medicine room was before, 
it looked like the medicine room, or was it the, I think it was the medicine room that had the newspaper article and all that jazz. So it looks like our next bet, I'm going to try that other room that we, um, you know, elected to not give a go earlier. Can I save from this side? I can't save? Aw, oh, man, that's unfortunate. Um, so just to get my, my bearings, yeah, so we're in the office now, and then I'll go through here, and then this door to the right should bring me back to the hallway where I first came in, which is this way. Cool. All right, let's save. We just saw that cutscene. We, you know, just got the map. We got a first aid kit. And just to be, just check, you know, we've still got the two, like, ampules or whatever. I'm sure one of you has commented by now how to pronounce that, but just... Just so you guys know, recording ahead is something I like to do in, in blind games, and sometimes it's what life necessitates. Given when I have time off, when I have time to record, I, I record, and when I don't have time, I, I might not have you know, the opportunity to do so. So I, I try to record when I can, and sometimes that's a little bit further than where you, know, you guys are watching. So please do understand if it seems like there's a, a delay or a lag in you guys offering advice, and then it might take a couple episodes for me to actually implement it. But yeah, we've got nine first aid kits, five health drinks. I think we're doing fine. Granted, the monsters are probably going to get more difficult as we progress through the game. Okay, so that door is locked. So we did need to go in here, and I believe the door across the way will lead here, and then we'll go through this door. And now, on our left should be a big boy door that was, or no, it's on our right. Yeah, okay, on our right is the big boy door. Big boy door we tried and couldn't get through. Of course, the stairwell is, on, is, is locked. How many floors are there? Oh, so there's a second floor and a third floor. Wow, so this place is definitely bigger than than the previous place. Although the previous place had kind of like two versions of the same environment. So so who knows? Who knows what's going to happen here? So the first thing I'm going to want to do is probably inspect the storeroom, right? Looks like that's not on the table. Or that room. Okay. Then next up will be the doctor's office. Yeah, the doctor's office and then potentially the, the conference room. Oh, and we can actually go here. No static. Okay. It's reassuring. Can explore a little bit more freely. It looks like there's something on the desk over there that we can interact with. We'll head over there in just a moment. Got to inspect everything along the way. Just to be, you know, 100%. What is this? Hospital basement map. Oh, so there are three floors and a basement. Okay. So we'll take that. Um, that should prove to be useful. Can I do anything over here? It looked like there was something interesting on the desk here. But it doesn't look like I can really interact with it. The phone's out, can't get a dial tone. All right, well, then we'll head over to the conference room. Enemy? Nope, doesn't seem so. And it looks like there's a key on the conference table. So we'll take a look at that in just a moment. What's this on the, the rail here? The phone's out. Okay, I couldn't even see that. It's really hard to tell that that's actually even a phone. But such is the PlayStation 1, am I right? All right, what does this key lead to? A basement key. Okay. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, anything on the shelf? No. Again, doesn't seem that way. You know, the items that we can interact with do tend to stick out from the backgrounds which is much appreciated, but I'd rather, you know, not have to backtrack endlessly or aimlessly trying to find items that I could have gotten had I just been thorough the first time around. Okay, next up is going to be the kitchen on our right and then the director's office. I'm hungry. Harry's got to eat. What is that? What was that sound? Yeah, you guys hear that? It's a health drink? Yep, nice. I feel like there's gonna be like something in one of the pots or pans that's gonna be just like revolting. <laughs> a plastic bottle. Okay. Don't know why I need it yet, but we'll take it. 
we take those <laughs> literally anything on here no anything in here no how about this like middle island area no the camera's panning up is there something you know up top that I need to be concerned with or there's a trash can over here anything in there no no leftovers was that like the fourth time I've made that joke um next up will be the director's office then yikes looks like it's uh definitely seen better days what's this on the ground here is that something I can interact with doesn't seem so yikes well the director has seen better days what do we have going on here a glass vial lies shattered it's not just broken it looks smashed on purpose uh-oh had to destroy the director's research or something something like that I'm sure can I read this oh darn I thought I was um, kneeling down beside the piece of paper that was on the ground books are scattered around the desk nothing else special here so it looks like someone came in here with the intent of discovering something and was you know looking through all the books looking through opening the drawers etc and then smashed this particular vial maybe out of frustration maybe because they found what they wanted and what they wanted was to destroy that particular vial who knows can I look inside these drawers no okay how about in here the shelves are all messed up who did this was it our uh, our doctor friend dr. Kaufman who's very quick to to flee the scene after we show up it looks like next up is going to be what's this on the right it doesn't look like it's on the map there's stairs and then there's an elevator so this is probably the basement yeah we're gonna have to use the key though and as a result I imagine are we actually gonna be able to head outside here the lock is jammed no I didn't think so vending machine what does that say cold all right, I'll, I'll take it. It's a nice cold drink. Elevator probably doesn't work. Yeah, because the electricity and everything is out. Okay, then I guess it's time to head downstairs, right? <laughs> Let's, uh, before we head down there, though, take a brief look at just what might be down there. If I had to guess, we're going to need to go into the morgue, the storeroom, the boiler room. Oh, the boiler room again. Um explore, find some items, etc. But the real big player is going to be the generator room, get the electricity back up, and then we can use the elevator to get to maybe some of the other floors. Just a guess. This camera angle, though. What? is that sound what is that sound okay we are um, in danger and I'm gonna turn on my flashlight so I can actually see what's going on oh it's the um no the one in front of you Harry They're the, like, cockroach things. They looked more like spiders to me at first. We're doing okay on, on health. But yeah, would you, would you listen to that sound, guys? Anything on here? No. Okay. Alright, the boiler room is locked. So we'll try the storeroom in the morgue next. Because I do believe the generator room is the ultimate goal. I want to check out everything else first. Okay, so those locks are jammed, which means uh, we'll probably have to come back to them at some later on point. And would you look at that? <laughs> this door definitely looks like it's seen better days. Isn't that... wait a minute. I thought I walked in the generator room. Oh, no. Just walked in the stairwell. My bad. Why is my flashlight not on? Why do I have to manually turn it on each time? All right, let's head into the generator room then. No static, which is nice. What am I, okay, that camera angle change. 
Can I do something with this? The in-house generator powers elevators, ICUs, and operating rooms only. Do you want to press the switch? Absolutely. Okay, so ICUs and, that, for those of you that don't know, that's the intensive care unit, and then the operating rooms exclusively. So we can't expect, you know, the power to be on everywhere else. Is that, like, the sound of the elevator working, or what? Ding! Okay, we can have our typical elevator scene. Can I not... Where am I supposed to pick where I go? Oh, cool. So we're gonna head up back to the first floor. Just to make sure this works. Oh, when I couldn't move for a moment and thought it was more of like a, like a cutscene, I was like, oh, here comes the typical elevator scene where the monster comes crashing through the top of it. Okay. So, I would say we did a pretty good job of exploring things, finding the basement key. You know, the first floor we've got down pretty well. And uh, we unlocked the elevator and everything, which is, is a little bit of a victory. And it looks like next up is going to be, what, the, the second floor? I do want to save, you know, just because we've done, you know, a good... We made some good progress. And the second floor, look, there's the intensive care unit, and then there's um, the operating room. Those are going to have power... And that's something we're probably going to need to remember if we're going to want to solve whatever puzzle is going on there. And I bet we'll have to go through the nurse center to get to the other hallway. Okay. We have yet to encounter any, like, big time enemies. So I anticipate that'll be something that happens more on the second floor. Because we really only encountered those three sort of, like, cockroach-like things, right? So let's save our progress. Okay. And honestly, I think we're going to end it there for now and say that we'll continue with the second floor of the hospital in the next episode. I think it's a pretty good stopping point. Uh, we made our way around, you know, the second half, or at least the second part of Silent Hill, explored a little bit, and then we made our way into the hospital, explored the first floor, met Dr. Kaufman, who is very suspicious, and then we went downstairs, we turned on the generator, and we're ready to start exploring the second floor, and we'll see what surprise that holds for us. I'd imagine it'll be a little bit more complex, whether it's the puzzles or the enemies, or both. And then the third floor. And who knows, there might be some alternate version of the hospital like there was with the school. But otherwise, I'd say we're, we're kind of cruising at the moment. And yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to the rest of the hospital. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.